Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name's Bree, and if you're not, welcome back. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell that way you guys can get notified whenever I post a new video. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my little perfume collection. It's not the biggest, but I feel like I have a good amount of perfumes. I really, really love perfumes. I just love like anything that smells pretty much. Candles, perfumes, lotions, anything that smells good. I freaking love it. I feel like one of the biggest compliments someone can give you is that you smell good or that your house smells good. When people come into my house and they tell me that my house smells good, I'm like, yes, I'm doing something right. So I figured it would kind of be good timing. With the holidays coming up, I know that there, if you guys wanted to check out a perfume, I know that there's a lot of gift sets out there right now and you can get a pretty good deal on perfumes and fragrances. So if you guys would like to see some of my favorites, just keep watching. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to share with you guys. This is like one of the OGs to perfumes. This is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Um, it's almost empty. I only have like a few more spritz in there. I have kind of torn away from this perfume because it... This is one of like the first perfumes ever that I got and I was super young, but I still love the smell. I still use it. I will probably repurchase this when I go to the bottom, but it's a very light fragrance. Um, I love this one for like spring and summer, probably spring. It's so good. Um, I'm really bad at describing smells, so I'm pretty much going to tell you guys like some of the notes that it has. That way you guys kind of know. So one of the notes is crystallized berries. Daisy tree petals and then the base is cashmere musk and driftwood. It's just very floral-y but not too much. Um, it's just a really light, fresh, florally type of scent. It's really nice. I would highly recommend this one if you're like trying to like get into perfumes but you don't want to do anything like too strong or too heavy. This one's a great one. The Chance Chanel perfume. Um, it's the light pink one and it's, I don't know how to pronounce all these terms and names so I'm sorry but it's U Tendre. Um, they have a bunch of different scents but this one is my absolute favorite, the light pink one fire you guys this one smells so good it lasts so long on the website they do describe this as well as like a floral scent um and the t the key notes are grapefruit and jasmine so next up we have one of my most expensive perfumes i think i think this one was really really pricey i got it a year ago or it's gonna be a year ago because i got a bunch of macy's gift cards for christmas so i had been eyeing this perf perfume um and i decided to get it with my gift cards that i got <laughs> so it is the flower bomb by victor rolf um this one's like a pretty popular perfume i got like super into per perfumes last year this time of year and i was like watching a bunch of reviews on them um so a lot of people had this one and when i smelled it i did like it i don't know i don't think this is the biggest size um they have a 3.4 ounce and it's 165 dollars which is kind of pricey i want to say this is the 1.7 ounces but i mean it's lasted me i mean i'm not even halfway and i've had it for like over a year or about to be a year so they do describe this again as a floral scent obviously it's called flower bomb <laughs> obviously i love floral scents um but the key notes in this are orchid rose and freesia don't know what that is um it also has jasmine and vanilla so i am a sucker for vanilla and i think that that's what really like reeled me into this scent um i love vanilla scents vanilla and like floral florally scents are amazing together um i will say though like when i bought it since it is so pricey i was expecting it like to last on my body all day but it doesn't last at least on me i know everyone's different um but it doesn't last on me all day because I remember the very first time that I wore this, it was to go out at night. And I mean, by the time I got home, I didn't smell it on me anymore. So 
I don't know, but I really do like it. I would suggest going into the stores to smell it first, see how you feel. Next up, I'm gonna talk about two of my absolute favorite perfumes, um, and they're they're also the most inexpensive ones out of my collect collection, which is freaking amazing because they last the longest. These do not fade out. Like if I put it on at eight o'clock at night, I will smell it. I mean, if I put it on at 8 o'clock in the morning, I will smell it at 8 o'clock at night. These perfumes are freaking bomb. If you guys have not smelled them, you're missing out. Um, I'm about to put you guys on because these perfumes are amazing, especially for the price. I mean, they're not super cheap, but they're also not like Chanel uh, Flower Bomb. They're not that expensive. So first is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. Um, I love this perfume. I wasn't able to smell it before I got it, but I heard like really amazing things, which is why I bought like a smaller size bottle, but I've had it for about a year uh, because I remember the very first time that I used this was actually on New Year's Eve last year when life was amazing. So I went into 2020 smelling like this and I will just like never forget it because I feel like scents, like certain scents just takes you back, you know, to a time and every time I put this on, like it takes me back to like New Year's Eve last year and yeah. <laughs> So this is, um, so for one ounce, it's only $44. And for 1.7, which I believe that's what I have, it's $54. And even the biggest size is 64. So it's not bad at all. I really, really, really recommend this perfume, guys. Oh my God, it's it smells so good. So the fragrance family is described as oriental. Not really sure what that means. But um, it does have lavender, pear, coconut, praline, vanilla, sucker for vanilla and then the base is cashmere um i don't really know how to describe this like in my type of terms but oh my god it just it smells so so good um it's like a little bit more on like the musky side it just smells so good you guys like go smell this if you can at ulta or just buy it. Just freaking buy it. Like $40, I promise you, you're not going to regret it. If you buy the smallest size, buy it. You need it. Ariana Grande is like, girl, you're amazing. And the second perfume that I smelled, uh, that I have from her is the little pink one. I'm about to find the name of it right now. But I smelled this perfume on a client. And when I smell something, like I need to ask you what you're wearing. Because if I like it, I, I need to know what it is. So I like had to ask her. This is such like a sweet perfume. Oh my God, it smells so good. But again, like I don't know what Ariana puts in her perfumes, but they stay on all freaking day. And like I thought the Cloud perfume was the only one she had because that's the only one that I hear people talking about. But apparently not. She has like when my client told me it's the Ariana Grande little pink one. Um, I went on, I like searched up Ariana Grande perfume because she didn't remember like the exact name of it. And no, she has like a whole bunch. So I wish like Ulta would have it out so you could um, actually smell them. But they're like pretty inexpensive that it doesn't hurt your pocket as much. Um, this one's like the same price too. But this is the, oh, it doesn't really say. It, well, it says Ari, Ari the Ari Ari Eau de Parfum. I don't know. But I'll link it down for you guys. Um, I guess that's the name. This is just like the Ari perfume. Uh, but yeah, the sweet, they describe it as fruity and sweet. And the keynotes are crispy pear, pink grapefruit, juicy raspberry. The middle note is rosebuds, vanilla orchid. And then the base is marshmallow, creamy musk, and blonde woods. So this is just very like... Just very sweet, very like feminine type. Like, it kind of like reminds me, like, I don't know, like, it just smells really good. It, it smells so good and it lasts so long. Next up, we have the Kayali. Kayali, I don't know how to say this. Um, the Kayali perfumes um, from Huda Beauty. Um, well, not from H Huda Beauty. I don't know. I don't know if it's like. So this is her sister's brand. I know I don't know if like somehow they're connected. 
Um, but that's the brand, Kayali. And I know, you know, it's a relationship or a partnership with Huda. Uh, but I first got this one off of Sephora about a year ago, maybe. I don't know when I got it. Um, I've barely... I feel like I use it often, but like it's not that low for some reason. But this is the vanilla scent. Oh my god, you guys. I told you like I'm a sucker for vanilla. Um, but like Bath & Body Vanilla doesn't smell that good. Like some vanillas, this is like a grown woman vanilla. Like it's not like a child like type of vanilla. No, this is like grown woman vanilla. So, um... It's described as warm and spicy, and then the keynotes are vanilla, orchid, and amber woods. Um, it just smells really, really good. This one also stays on for a really long time, which I love. And then the second one, because I actually saw this um, on someone's video, on like their favorites video. Her name is Dazzling Taisha. Um, she does like amazing... Uh, amazing makeup and like just everything beauty uh but i saw that she mentioned the vanilla one and then she mentioned this other one which is the kayali citrus one she said that she likes mixing those two together and that they make like a really good combo and i was like okay i need to try this um combo out like i never really am not much of a perfume mixer um just because like I don't want to stink or smell like an old lady. You know how some perfumes like you just, they're just too strong and they're just too much. And people are like, ooh. Um, but they actually had um, for the Sephora sale, they had like this whole little, uh, hold on, let me see. You guys can see it. It doesn't focus. This camera's focusing sucks. But it is the Huda Beauty Kayali Miniature Discovery Set. Um, so they don't. I've never seen these perfumes um, in a Sephora store because when I was looking for the vanilla one, I went to two or three different Sephoras and I was like, oh, do you guys have this perfume? Because I wanted to smell it first just because I wasn't sure if like the vanilla was going to be like a nasty vanilla or, you know, old lady vanilla. <laughs> like I just didn't know what to expect, but I ended up just purchasing it online and I was like hoping that I would love it and I did. Um, but I've never seen them in stores, which is the only downfall because when I kept going around, I would ask them, do you guys have the scent? And they would like be confused and they'd be like, no, like what is that? They wouldn't even know what this brand was. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it was just the Sephora that I went to, but um, they had like a little miniature set. And I was like, okay, like since I've never seen them at Sephora, the miniature set was $95, but obviously with the sale it was less. Um, and it comes with all of them. So like obviously I know I'm gonna use vanilla and I can throw this in my purse it's Super small and then it comes with three other ones and because I wanted to buy the citrus one that dazzling Taisha had mentioned I was like I can try it and then if I love it Um, I can buy like the full size and I can also try the other two. Well the other two, um, I did not like it Um, the other one is Kayali musk and I wasn't a fan of that one and then the Kayali Elixir, those just smelled too strong for me. They were too much, reminded me of like somebody's grandma. I didn't like it. Uh, but the citrus one smells really good and I have mixed them together and they smell amazing. So the Kayali Citrus, um, it says that it consists of pink grapefruit, pink grapefruit and pink pepper. Um, so yeah by themselves or mixed together really really good but i would recommend buying the set maybe i don't know like everyone has different tastes so like if you think you're gonna like it like the other ones um i didn't but that's just me next up we have an og ysl black opium oh my god this one is like one of my favorites uh, my mom doesn't like this one i got this one years ago i don't know I can't remember if this is um my second yeah i want to say this is my second bottle um but ysl black opium ysl fragrances like anything ysl is just amazing let's get real expensive ass brand but amazing ass things um i love ysl 
uh, but this is described as warm and spicy and then the keynotes are coffee white flowers and vanilla again vanilla here we go but the coffee in this oh my god um, it is strong it lasts all day, but I feel like a lot of people love black opium I really this is one of the ones that you can go to a store and probably smell it anywhere because it's really really popular I would really recommend this is like on my top three for sure um, And then a newer YSL perfume that I mentioned that I really really I've been wanting this perfume for so long I'm wearing it right now I've been wearing it like for the last week and that's the thing that's why I I like to have a lot of perfumes because I get tired of scents like I have to take a break from it and then switch to another one I don't like smelling the same every single day like I I can't do it But this one I don't mind smelling like it. This is the YSL Libre perfume I did mention this on my Sephora like wish list slash recommendations um, But this is the YSL Libre perfume. Oh my god, you guys, it smells so good like it smells so good It lasts all day you guys need this. I don't know. It's very hard to choose between YSL Black Opium and YSL Libre. I think Libre might take the win. I really do. Let me read you guys the notes. And then Libre mixed with Kayali Vanilla. Oh my god. Smells so good. I don't know why I mixed those two, but it smelled so freaking good. So this is the Libre perfume, and then it's described as a warm floral. And the keynotes are lavender, orange blossom, and musk accord. Um, so it says this is a very. So yeah, they say on the little description it's a very sexy smell, which it is. It's it smells really good, you guys. Go smell it. Um, a lot of people talked about this. I smelled it a while ago like when it first came out because it hasn't been out I won't like maybe it's been out for maybe a year but like not that long um but I smelled it when it first came out but like I just have so many that like buying another one is just like oh my god like really Brie do you really need that I don't need it but here we are why sell Libre? Go get it. Go smell it. You're gonna love it. Next up so this is like my freaking signature scent I feel like I would like people to like when they think of me to smell this scent um I love it I've been wearing this scent I think since I was like 18 so it's been like four or five years um this is the type of scent that I will never get sick of um but they are two Versace scents um let me pull up the first one. Oh, this is the, um, I'm almost out, but Versace Bright Crystal. This is the light pink one because there's two. Um, so this is like the less expensive one. The, like, I feel like this is more like every day or like just got out of the shower at night. Let me spritz this on and smell good for bed. So this is the Versace Bright Crystal. Um, and it's in the floral family and it is, so it consists of, lemon peony and musk um it smells really really good it says bright crystal is a fresh sensual blend of refreshing chilled yuzu and pomegranate mingled with soothing blossoms of peony magnolia lotus flower and musk and amber so yeah it, it is definitely like a fresh scent i absolutely love it um i got this huge bottle actually off i've had it for a while um but Zulily, like they have they sell this bottle for cheap um this the light pink one is much cheaper than the hot pink one but i don't know if they do this every year because i don't think i had to restock last year um but i know like sometimes around like christmas time they bring this perfume out at costco and it's like i think 50 dollars um it's not that not this big the smaller one that i'm about to show you guys but costco sells it um it's weird. I know they've, I remember three years that they sold it, um, but last year I didn't check because I didn't need it, but maybe I'll check this year. But yeah, check your Costco. Um, I don't know if they'll be doing it this year with everything going on, but Costco brings it out for $50, which is a great deal um, because, let me see. It says the one ounce is $60, but the one from Costco I, is larger than one ounce. And then the next one is like the older sister, the more mature sister. So this um, bottle is definitely from Costco. Um, 
but I got it a while ago. I just love it. Like, it's so cute. I love pink. I love, like, the whole diamond. But this is the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. So, kind of the same, but this one's stronger. It lasts longer. Ugh, this one smells so good. Like, this is just me. Me in a bottle. So, yeah, the three-ounce bottle is $115. Um, and then they bring it out at Costco for $50. Go to Costco, you guys. Hopefully, they bring it this year. I'm going to check. Um, but it is in a in the floral family as well and the scent type is fruity and citrus um, The keynotes is pomegranate raspberry peony magnolia lotus flowers amber wood And it's a bright and vibrant musk um, This lasts you on you at least for me on my body it lasts me all day like this is the perfume that I would wear when I would work at a Mexican restaurant and I like, I could still smell this. Like underneath the chips and salsa, I could still smell this. Like, I love this. This is like my number one um, perfume. I love it. I always will. And I'll be checking Costco this year. But go smell this one, you guys. I love this one. Like I can't, this is my number one. Like I don't care what other scents I smell. This will always be number one. And then if I had to pick, it would probably be like YSL Libre, the Ariana Grande Cloud, and the Chanel. Those are like my go-tos. Also the vanilla one, but I don't want to smell like vanilla every single day. But yeah, this one's number one. I had to save the best for last. Okay, you guys, so that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my last video, showing you guys how I did my mom's hair. I will definitely be trying to do more hair videos because it looked like you guys really enjoyed it as well as learned a thing or two, which was my main goal to teach you guys not teach you guys but just share with you guys like some of the techniques that i use so don't forget to comment like share and subscribe turn on your post notifications have an amazing day